Hi guys, so today I have a collection video for you and I'm going to be sharing with you my bar glitter topper polishes. Um, I've got, is it nine I think to show you, that are just purely bar glitter toppers. Um, so this will be one, a very good one for Mrs. Cronel to watch. <laughs> um, I know that she has got a love for bar glitters. Um, and anyone else who likes toppers, I think it's just quite interesting to see what they're like. Um, they're, this is going to sound probably sound a bit weird, but they're all very different. There are bar glitters, but the shapes and everything are actually quite different, which you'll see in a minute. So uh, yeah, sit back and we'll go and take a look at them. So here are my um, nine bar glitters in all of their glory. I've tried to choose a base colour that will show them up so they're not all on the same base. Um, I think, I'm sure I've done attempting toppers for one of them. Um, if I have, I'll link it down below. If not, I, um, I will do them on these. Um, I just thought I'd share them all with you today. So I'm going to start at this end. And these first two are both from uh, Nails Inc. and from their Fibre Optic collection. So first up we have... Belgravia Place and as you can see this is um, a red and silver holographic one. Um, I love using bar glitters in jelly sandwiches. Um, I will pop a couple of photos in along the way. I've only, I've only got around to doing a couple but um, I do plan on doing some more. Um, I think I haven't got every colour in the like in the sort of jelly pot, the yeah, the really sheer jelly polishes. So um, I do need to get some more. So for that one, I've put it on a black base. Um, it's pretty rammed actually with glitters in that one. Um, but you can see on that black base that it picks them all up. Next up, we have. Um, the the silver from the same collection which is this one here so Hampstead Court is literally just um, silver holographic bar glitters um, now this one this is actually my backup bottle because my original bottle was this little mini which is very cute as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it in there, which is why I uh, managed to find a backup bottle. But this is just, I love this glitter. I made, even if I do say so myself, I made the, the most beautiful uh, jelly sandwich with it, which I will insert a picture of. Um, so to show you, I have put this one on a black base, which is here. Again, absolutely rammed with the glitters. I think I struggle a bit when there is this many glitters in there because I, I feel they I do feel they look quite messy. Um which but but for a jelly sandwich obviously it's perfect. So next up uh, we have one which is actually from Pound Poundland, I think, over here in the UK, and it's a makeup gallery time to shine in pink diamond, which is I think it's just pink actually. I think don't think there's not sure if there's silver in there or not, but um yeah. So just the pinky coloured holographic glitters in there. Uh these glitters are slightly, slightly thinner, I feel, than the ones from Nails Inc. Um but there it is there on top of white. It's really hard to show these on camera, I'm not going to lie. So next up we have an Essie and this one is called Peak of Chic and this is a white and silver one. Now the silver obviously are holographic and the white ones are matte glitters so quite an unusual mix this one but a very pretty one. And This one I've put on top of black to show you Again, this one's absolutely round. This one is like 
it almost gets to like full coverage this one so yeah I don't actually mind the look of this one on top of the black um, yeah no it looks quite nice so that was peak of chic um, the others are all Barry M polishes so sorry for those who um, who these well to be honest they're not available anymore anyway um, I think they're all older ones this first one here was a limited edition from Boots, so I don't think, no, I don't know the name of this one. Um, for me, this is a real Christmassy one. It's got red, um, green and blue glitters in there, which just, they really, like, they just look like sort of shredded tinsel. Um, I don't even think I've worn this, but... Um, yeah, they seem really long, the glitters. Uh, I'm not keen on that one on its own. So I will probably figure a different way of using that one. I mean, maybe with some nail art they might look, you know, like a good combination. But I just can't cope with them on their own like that. Um, and the final four are actually a collection. So... First we have this, what I call a licorice one, which is black and white glitters. And this one, oh, it's called licorice actually. That's probably why I call it licorice one. <laughs> That's a really blonde moment then. Um, so these were called confetti effects. Um, and don't, I can't even remember how many years um, ago these were brought out. But I bought some myself and I think a couple of my friend bought me. So the black and white, um, I find it hard to think of a base for this one. So I've used a very pale grey and it actually looks really pretty. The, the glitters are really quite short. Um, and there's just enough in there for a nice covering. So the next one out of this collection is a blue and white. Quite a bright blue actually. And this one's called Bubblegum. So I've put that one on top of black. So that might be like look nice on a dark blue or something. Thirdly, we have uh, this one, which is like a... Well, I think it's the same blue, actually. Possibly, is in here. Um, but it's sort of got yellow with it and it gives it a bit of a greeny look to it um, and this one's called sour apple so very pretty but I find these three um, there's not much distinction between them when they're on the nail because the the glitters are quite thin and s quite small and thirdly is this one which is a bit more multicolored from them and that one is called Dolly Mixture, which is a cute name. There they are. There's got like pale blue, peach, yellow, possibly some maybe a paler yellow as well in there. So that is that one. So there are my nine bar glitters. I do have more bar glitters than this, but all of my other ones are mixed in with normal glitters. So I think I might do a separate collection video to show you those as well. So uh, there they are. Thanks for watching that guys. Uh, let me know what uh, bar glitters you've got and what you use them for, what are your sort of your favourite combinations for, for man is using those. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.